I recycle. It makes me feel good. But what I do is nothing compared to what Lauren Singer does. I don't produce any trash, and I haven't for the past two plus years. No trash in two years? Well, a little. So all of the trash that I have produced can fit inside of a mason jar. This, she says, is it. Everything else she reused, recycled, or composted. Where do you compost? I keep my compost in my freezer, so I'll show you if you want. The freezer? If you keep it in here, it's like any frozen food. It won't break down. It's supposed to break down. It's compost. Well, every Saturday I bring this to the farmer's market where they do a citywide composting program. On her way home, she buys coffee. I was wondering if I could get a latte, but do you mind making it in here for me? To avoid Thank using so plastic much. cups, she brings a mason jar everywhere. Thank you so much. To avoid what she calls industrial chemicals, she makes her own cosmetics. This is my lotion that I make myself. It's a whipped body butter. And if you smell it, it smells kind of chocolatey. Yeah. Do you put that on your face? It smells chocolatey. Why does she live this way? Everything started for me when I was an environmental studies student at NYU. Oh yes, on every campus, sustainability is big. Penn's integrating sustainability across the curriculum. MSU provided over 90 sustainability-related courses. After Lauren graduated, she put this video up on Kickstarter. I was an environmental science major in college, and I not only wanted to learn about sustainability, but I wanted to actually live it. People donated $41,000 which she used to start her sustainable products business. What does sustainability mean? Economist Holly Fretwell is annoyed by claims made by the sustainability crowd. You get this moral high ground feeling they're better than somebody else because they're protecting the environment more. I'm sustaining the earth. I'm using less of it. I'm leaving it for my grandchildren. All recycling isn't necessarily good and isn't necessarily environmentally benign. Why not? Why wouldn't recycling be good? Well, I live in Bozeman, Montana, and in order to recycle glass bottles, we ship them down to Golden, Colorado. That's a long way. We're using more energy than sometimes it would take to just start from scratch. After Los Angeles mandated recycling, they discovered they needed another 400 garbage trucks to pick up the new containers. Now we have twice as many garbage trucks that are driving around picking up garbage, creating their own pollutants. Some recycling makes sense. Reusing aluminum saves lots of energy. But just about everything else is a scam. We're, when we talk about recycling glass, we're actually talking about replacing sand, right? One of the most abundant materials on Earth. Glass is made of sand. There's sure. infinite sand around. Who sure. cares if we recycle glass? This isn't going to make any difference. The average American, they produce 4.4 pounds of trash per day. So what if we produce four pounds? It's hurting the environment because we have to create more and more landfills and landfills aren't free. Lots of people believe America will soon run out of landfill space, but it's not true. We're not running out of landfill space. We have more landfill space than we historically have ever had. How can there be more space? We've created these big landfills that are really safe and have uh, liners within them so that they don't permeate into the ground and, and destroy the water tables. And once we fill that up, we seal it off and we put a park on top. A park or this ski resort or this beach near Boston, all built on landfills. All of America's garbage for the next 100 years would fit on Ted Turner's Flying D Ranch in Montana with 50,000 acres to spare. You could put all the world's trash for the next 1,000 years into one 15-mile square landfill. There's lots of room out there. That doesn't make it okay. Why not? It just sits in there. You build ski mountains over it. I prefer to do things in a way that are um, in homeostasis with the way that the Earth is. It sure is nice to live in a country where young people can afford to pay more for organic food and have so much free time that they wash everything by hand and feel empowered by living what they call a sustainable life. I had no idea that it was even possible to live without producing trash. And when I learned that, it was like this, wow, I'm so empowered.